Have you ever wondered what it's like to have a star chart in the shape of an umbrella? Wonder no more, we're gonna make one. You're gonna need a blue umbrella or a black one. We have a blue one. You're gonna need stickers, silver ones, although these are the only ones we could find, so we're using those. And this book, The Stars, I mean, you could find a different book, but we got the idea from this page where it has a star chart with an umbrella where the stick of the umbrella is the North Star and you can spin the uh, umbrella around and you can see how the stars rotate around the North Star because the North Star stays in one place in the sky. So it's pretty genius. So let's see how to make one of these. <laughs> First you'll need to open the umbrella. You gotta put it on the inside, you know. on the floor. Now, take out your stickers. That isn't the stickers. These are the stickers. Ah! Now, you're going to use the book as the guide. I lost my page. I'll be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with Cassiopeia because it's a very easy shape. That looks like Cassiopeia, doesn't it? It's a W shape. Aw, oh, yeah. Now we turn to the opposite side of the umbrella. We're going to do the Big Dipper. And it's probably going to be bigger than this section. So we're going to figure it out. Aha! Now I have made the Big Dipper. As you can see, it is a Big Dipper shape. <laughs> now we do the constellations around these two major constellations. So we have Cassiopeia, it's all perfect, and then turn it all the way back to the Big Dipper, which is like an M but it's got two more stars, so it's like an upside-down Cassiopeia. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, it's bigger than Cassiopeia. But yeah, now we have to do all the other ones. If you're having trouble figuring out which stars correspond to which constellations once you're done, you can do a dot-to-dot -dot with silver sharpie between them, but I'm not because I'm hardcore. Now, this is Cassiopeia. And this is Cepheus, all of this and that. Don't, don't forget that one little one. And then the Little Dipper uses the pole star, and the pole star is the handle, so there. And then that, and then it goes like that. That's the Dipper. And then here's the Big Dipper. No explanation needed. And all the way back around, this is the giraffe with the legs and the body, and the head, and yeah, that is all that we did. Take it off the floor! You gotta be careful when you're doing this inside, but you gotta turn it counterclockwise, and that is how the stars rotate around the pole star. Isn't that lovely? I'm Rachel Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching!